Hello friends, welcome to the next lecture of natural fiber reinforced composites and polymer application under the edges of polymer process engineering. Now, uh, if you recall that uh, previously we have covered the uh, different types of uh, natural fiber reinforced composites, we discussed about the treatment of fibers, we discussed about the advantages and disadvantages of uh, all these uh, natural fiber reinforced composites. Then we discussed uh, the applications in different high end technology sectors of these uh, natural fiber reinforced composites. In this particular segment, we are going to discuss about the application of uh, natural fiber reinforced composite in sports good. We are going to discuss about the application of these natural fiber reinforced composite in soil protection and erosion control. Uh, apart from this, we will discuss some other applications, um, especially in different, uh, different parts of the life. Now, talk about the application of the polymer reinforced composites. They find a wide application in all aspects of life, like from automobile to the sports group to the domestic application to the furniture and all other segments. Name any segments, you will find that there is a natural fiber reinforced, reinforced composite is there. So, they are utilized into manufacturing of sports gears because of their lightweight, high strength and biodegradability aspect especially those natural fiber can be easily be biodegraded. Now, flex fiber composites, they are used in manufacturing of uh, tennis rackets and some applications uh, they are of uh, natural fiber composites are given like bicycle frames. These natural fiber reinforced composites, particularly those reinforced with the carbon or flex fibers, they are used in the construction of bicycle or manufacturing of bicycle frames. Now, these composites offer lightweight alternatives to the traditional metal frames resulting in enhanced uh, maneuverability, increased shock absorption and improved overall performance. Tennis rackets because here you need to have a high impact or force and other things. So, you need to have a different type of a profile with respect to the properties. So, natural fiber composites, they offer very good alternative for conventional materials. So, natural fiber composites like those reinforced with the flex or hemp fiber, they are used in the production of these tennis rackets frames. These composites provide the lightweight and responsive frames with excellent vibration damping characteristics leading to the enhanced player control and reduced strain on the arm. So, all these things are very important like this, you need to have a reduced impact, you need to have some, some sort of a flexibility. So, that is why these NFRCs, they offer a very good substitute to those conventional materials. Then golf clubs. These natural fiber reinforced composites, they are used in manufacturing of a golf club shaft and heads. By utilizing the natural fiber composite, golf clubs can be designed to have a lower weight while maintaining sufficient stiffness and strength. This results in increasing swing speeds, improved accuracy and a better feel during the, the gameplay. Apart from this, uh, the surface board. Now, su natural fiber composites. Uh, uh, such as those reinforced with a bamboo or a cork fiber. They are employed in the production of surfboards and stand up paddle boards. They are very common and are very frequently being used by the sports persons. Now, these composites offer lightweight, durable boards with the good flex and strength properties, leading to the improved performance in water sporting. So, you see that all these fiber reinforced plast composites, they are having a versatile properties. Apart from this, a snowboard and a ski, a skies, a skis. Now, these NFRCs or natural fiber reinforced composites, they are used in the construction of uh, snowboards, skis, the natural fiber like flax, bamboo, they are integrated or they are impregnated into the composite layup to provide the vibration damping, improved flexibility and a lightweight characteristics. This enhances the maneuverability, stability and overall performance of uh, at, on the slopes because slope uh, you need to have the slopey character so you need to have some special properties. Then fishing rods. 
These natural fiber reinforced composites can also be used in the production of fishing rods, providing a lightweight and a durable alternative to the traditional materials. So overall, the natural fiber composites offer a sustainable and eco-friendly alternative to the traditional material in sporting goods application while still maintaining the high performance characteristics. Uh, other applications of uh, the polymer reinforced composites are like soil protection. The soil protection utilizing plant fiber and other biodegradable material consists of leaves, straws and the plant, plant residues. Now currently woven and a non-woven textile and covers they manufacture from the wheat straw, rice straw, long wood shaving, choir. Jute, they are utilized as a soil protection products. Now, these products are usually divided in two groups. The first one, which is manufactured using the choir and a jute fiber termed as erosion control meshes like ECM, and the second one is manufactured from the natural fiber or synthetic fiber bonded by meshes. They are called the erosion control blankets, ECB. So, ECM and ECB. Now the, the straw or choir fiber bundles, they are held together by meshes which can be utilized as a sediment retention natural fiber rolls. So sometimes when erosion may occur in the surface, then this can be utilized. So erosion control blankets. Now natural fiber composites, this can be used to manufacture the erosion control blankets that help stabilize soil and prevent erosion. The composites provide high tensile strength, making them ideal for use in steep slope application. Some of the application attributed to the landscaping. So the natural fiber composite, these can be used in various landscaping applications like erosion control, soil stabilization, vegetation establishment, and these composites can help reduce uh, soil erosion, improve soil quality, thereby and promote the vegetation growth. Geotextiles, right, they are very common in uh, the construction and uh, uh, roads, uh, road uh, preparation, all those things. So these geotextiles, natural fiber composites, uh, these can be used to, to manufacture the geotextile that are used for the soil reinforcement, drainage and filtration. The composites can provide high strength, durability and resistance to environmental factor. Let us talk about uh, uh, the soil protection and erosion control, the gabions and retaining wall. The natural fiber reinforced composite can also be used in the construction of gabions and retaining wall and the composite can provide the high strength and the durability while still allowing the water and air flow through the structure. So this is very important to prevent the deformation of the roads during the rainy season or some, some sort of during the temperature variation. So that is why this particular, these uh, natural fiber composite, uh, they are uh, very important uh, in this particular aspect. Now while we, we have discussed about the natural fiber reinforced composite in construction, the various uh, natural fibers, they are being used in reinforcement in construction industries. Generally, the natural fiber composites which are used in building construction, these can be categorized into four major divisions. One is that particle or short fiber reinforced, long natural fiber reinforced, nanocellular composites and consolidated composites. So the natural fiber used for manufacturing of long natural fiber composites, they are flax, hemp, sea salt, jute fiber. And many fabrication techniques are used to manufacture these composites like compression, vacuum bagging, injection, filament winding, and pultrusion. All these things can be used. And nat long natural fiber composites, sometimes referred as N uh, LNFCs, they have a good mechanical properties like tensile or flexural properties which are very much important and apart from this, uh, keeping in view of uh, present day scenario, they offers a very good biodegradability aspect. Now in roofing structure of the building, different kind of natural fiber composites are used like uh, isoids as a roof beam. LVL that is a laminated veneer lumber and a wood based composite as blocks, 
the eye joints they are used for the insulation and a venting purpose stressed skin panels are manufactured by wood based polymer composites they have been used for for the off site manufacturing of roofing parts which improves the efficiency of the building with respect to the construction now there are various application of natural fiber composites in building uh, application or building construction one is the applications in wall building these natural fiber composites are used in wall construction a combination of natural fiber reinforced composite and a wood composite is used in the development of wall system in building construction then floorboard and a ceiling system the composites used in flooring and a ceiling system application are divided into two types one is the load bearing like joist and second one is the semi structural composites for floor and ceiling coating the i joist they are utilized to avoid bending and deflection because i shape is effective in bending strength and deflection control then composites beams and pillars the natural fiber composites are commonly utilized for building beams and pillars continually substituting steel natural fibers in composites this should be located parallel to the principal stress direction to raise the strength of composites now different kind of natural fiber they are used in construction application some of them like flex fibers flex fiber uh, polymer composites are mainly used for structural applications automotive applications and customer applications or customized application also there are many advantages of using flex fiber composites like they are very much durable they can be further improvised to enhance the mechanical properties and they offer good water resistance jute fiber this is one of the cheapest fiber among all natural fiber now this jute fiber is biodegradable and they possess the high tensile strength the jute fiber is of a very adaptive nature that has been utilized in raw material for the construction and agricultural sector sea cell fiber the industry usually uses the sea cell fiber in three different categories the lower grade sea cell fiber has a high cellulosic and hemicellulosic content and they used primarily by the paper industries the medium grade sea cell fiber are extensively used by naval and agricultural sector the superior grade sea cell fiber is used by the carpet industries coconut fiber very common in all the coastal area it is easily available in all coastal area the coconut fiber is derived from the inner husk of coconut and these short and stiff fibers they can be combined for many applications the coconut fiber have the maximum lignin content and a low cellulose content this offers a stiffness and a strongness in their fiber properties and that's why they are being very much popular in uh, among all the applications of natural fiber reinforced co uh, composites here um, you can see the different type of uh, uh, natural fiber composites used in building construction like they can be used in blocks cladding straws flax hemp trees columns beams wood based and textural components so this makes them the natural house apart from this these natural fiber reinforced composites offers other uses one is uh, the electrical and electronics enclosure the natural fiber composites they find application in electrical and electronic enclosures like housing for electronic devices control panels circuit board casing and they provide the good insulation properties electrical shielding and protection against electromagnetic interference like emi these natural fiber composites can also offer improved thermal management reducing the risk of overheating in electronic components consumer electric they are also using these uh, 
uh, natural fiber reinforced composites. They are using the manufacture of consumer electronic products like laptop, tablets, smartphones, the audio devices and they can also be used in the casing, bezels and structural components providing the lightweight and eco-friendly alternatives to the traditional plastic materials. Home appliances. These natural fiber composites are employed in production of home appliances including refrigerators, washing machines and ovens. They can also be used in, uh, for the interior component panels, housings, they offer the durability, thermal insulations and improved environmental performance. Now usually when we talk about the materials used in the sports equipment, they have the different properties like mechanical, structural, thermal, chemical. Now, so when we talk about the designing of a sports equipment, this involves the considering properties like mechanical strength, ductility, fatigue resistance, density hardness, damping, modulus and cost. So improved quality and safety features in the sports equipment, they have led to the popularity of the various sports. Winter sports, they have gained the popularity due to the factor like increased laser, cheaper flights, improved safety gears and there are a growing demand of winter sports equipment leading to the research and development in this field. The polymers are preferred choice for making a sports equipment due to their inherent properties. Now plastic including polymers reinforced with glass, foam, carbon fiber and aramid fiber, they are used in manufacturing of winter sports goods. Now polymers, they have a very, you can say, revolutionized the design and construction of sports equipment they, by offering the reduced cost, improved safety, strength, durability, all these things. And the polymer composite, they offer high strength to weight ratios, better fatigue resistance and lighter weight. Commonly used polymers in sports equipment like cyanoacrylate in the versatile adhesives, they used again. So commonly used polymer in sports equipment, we are going to discuss in detail in the subsequent slides. Like cyanoacrylate, the cyanoacrylate, they are the versatile adhesive. They are used in the various fields such as industry, medicine, and household application. It also find application in sports, especially in archery, where it is used to join the fletching to the arrow shaft. In archery, the cyanoacrylate serves as a strong glue for constructing different equipments, including bows, bow string, arrows, fletching protective gears, release aids, and stabilizers. Vectron. Now, Vectron is a synthetic fiber composed of a liquid crystal polymer. They are called the Vectra. Now, it is an aromatic polyester obtained through the polycondensation of 4-hydroxybenzoic acid and 6-hydroxynephthalene-2-carboxylic acid. The Vectron exhibits excellent mechanical strength and can withstand a wide range of temperature. It also shows the high chemical resistance and low moisture absorption. The fiber has high abrasion resistance and negligible creep even under heavy loads, then up to the 50% of the breaking load. Vectron is a polyester with aromatic ring on both monomer constituents and has a relatively high melting point that is from 276 to 330 degree Celsius. It was initially used in a sporting equipment as a synthetic string for badminton rackets. The use of Vectron in rackets resulted in improved impact resistance, high tensile strength and lighter weight. The rackets had strong head enabling players to deliver more powerful shots. Gutta Parcha. Gutta Parcha is a polyterpene and a trans isomer of polyisoprene. It has a trans 1,4 polyisoprene structure and a molecular structure similar to the natural rubber. Gutta parcha exhibits the characteristics of a crystalline polymer and behaves differently than rubber. Its chemical composition consists of gutta parcha like 75 to 82 percent, then alban 14 to 16 percent, and fluevil 4 to 6 percent. 
small amount of tin is a small amount of tannin salts and secrinol also present in the gutta parcha the trans 14 polymer is highly crystalline tough hard and leathery in nature the gutta parcha is used as a shielding material for underwater cables and in protection of golf balls trans 14 polyisoprene trans 14 polyisoprene is used in various sports equipment it is employed in the production of golf balls it is also used as an adhesive in the manufacturing of other sports coats serlin serlin is the trademark monomer known as a self healing properties it is a copolymer composed of polyethylene co-methacrylic acid serlin contains 5.4 mol percent of methacrylic acid which is neutralized with alkali metal or zinc hydroxides polymers were first used in sports application with rubber balls the high performance ethylene copolymer with the partially neutralized acid group using metal salt like zinc sodium they are used in golf ball construction polycarbonates they are the thermoplastic polymers containing the carbonate functional group co and they are formed from the acid chloride rcocl precursors and beef bisphenol a linking of monomer in polycarbonate occurs through a multiple nucleophilic acyl substitutes resulting the flexible and non brittle polymer layers now polycarbonates they are a strong shatter resistant and hard material with some grades being optically transparent they are used in making uh, protective sports equipments like helmets for bikers riders cyclist it is also used in making sunglasses protective visors and goggles for clear visibility and shatter resistance the polycarbonate lenses consist usually consist of two layers with outer layer protecting the base layer from cracking under the environment stress or stress concentration and that's that particular property makes them useful for the polycarbonate lenses in safety equipments uh, like crash helmet the slightly malleable polycarbonate shell absorbs impact energy and reduces the impact of collision working in conjunction with the foam interior the polycarbonates find application in various sport equipment due to their properties and ability to absorb impact let's talk about the epoxy resins epoxy resins they are strong polymers known for their high temperature resistance they are formed through a nucleophilic attack of phenols and deprotonated de uh, phenols and epoxides and this reaction opens the the strained three membered ring of the epoxy epoxides and resulting in the formation of a pre polymer the pre polymer this can be reacted with the nucleophiles such as uh, triamines which have uh, three amine groups like h2n ch ch2nh ch2 ch2 nh2 each amine group can react with the, an epoxide on the pre polymer leading to densely cross linked structure the cross link structure contributes to the epoxy resin exceptional strength now mixing carbon fiber with epoxy resin further enhances its strength and the combination of carbon fiber and epoxy resin creates a compos composite material with enhanced mechanical properties let's talk about the polyurethane they are very common in household application to the various high core industrial applications the polyurethanes they are polymers that contains the carbamate group nhco2 in their molecular backbone these polyurethanes are formed by the reaction between diisocyanate and polyol groups the mechanical properties of polyurethane can be modified by adjusting the synthesis condition and these polyurethanes are versatile and find application in various fields such as insulation surface coating adhesives solid plastics and athletic apparels in sports these polyurethanes are commonly used in running shoes and other athletic footwear due to their flexibility polyurethane are also 
used in production of uh, sports equipment like soccer balls, judo mats, uh, binders on running tracks. Sports flooring and the porn place track surfaces are often made using polyurethane materials including shock pads for maintaining flat surfaces and dimensional stability. The polymers including polyurethanes have a greatly improved skiing, skiing equipments offering enhanced comfort, safety and reduced cost. Polyurethane foams course, they are honeycomb course or advanced composite material, they are used in the construction of skies. Polyurethane is a preferred material for making a skies boot due to the strength, hardness and ability to maintain properties at low temperature. Surfboards, they are made of the polyurethane foam core and the polyester layer reinforced with glass providing durability and shape flexibility. Polymers including polyurethanes have greatly improved skiing equipment. They offer the enhanced comfort, safety and reduced cost. Now there are some, some other common polymers like ABS. They are having the chemical formula and they are being used for the thermoplastic glass transition, having the glass transition temperature 105 degrees Celsius. And this can be utilized for the various sports activities as a sports equipment aircraft, marine fabric, then PVC. They are formed by the polymerization of vinyl chloride. They possess uh, a very excellent properties uh, and a low cost and they find their uses in the pipe, cable, insulation, packaging materials, uh, medical products, all this. Then PEVA, this uh, the polyethylene vinyl acetate. These are the copolymer of ethylene and vinyl acetate. They possess the low permeability and they are offering the, the, the good option of a chlorine free component. They are used as a sports protection equipment and shoe soles. CFRP usually prepared from the polyacrylonitrile and they are, are having a highly resistance and optimal for canoeing. And they are they can be used as the canoeing paddles and oars. Polyethylene, they are having the chemical formula of C2H4, and they are chemically stable, flexible, and they possess the low toxicity. They can be used in the packaging, sports equipment, the shoulder pads. Then polymeric foams, they usually prepared with the help of various components and they possess the impact absorption ability, resilience and they, stuff, uh, they are very much stiff in nature and their application mats for high jump, mat, mat, martial arts, pole vaults, all these things. Neoprene, this is derived from the, the chloroprene and they are chemically stable and they are very much flexible in nature. So they are being used as uh, 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 the hand protection gloves, football, and uh, artificial gra glass. The PDMS, silicons, they are derived from the dimethyl dichlorosilane. They are transparent in nature, they are inert and they are non-toxic. And the protective, they can be used as a protective material to reduce the impacts and injuries. Nylon, they are derived from the polyamides and they are thermoplastic in nature, very much durable and very much strong and they can be used as a, a synthetic grass for various sports grounds. Then polyamides, they are the repeating units linked by the amide bonds and uh, the properties, they are natural and artificial polyamides can be used in textile, automobile, sports wear. Then polyolefins, the, this, these can be prepared through the polymerization of olefinic monomers and they are having the properties of uh, polypropylene, polyethylenes and this can be used in the sports uh, hall floors, foam pads, carpets, etc. So dear friends, in this particular segment, we discussed various um, application of uh, the natural fiber reinforced composites. Apart from this, we discussed uh, their application in the sports activities and different aspects of uh, the uses. And uh, for your uh, convenience, we have enlisted various references which you can utilize. Thank you very much.